Uh, you're back. You're back with comedian David Boyle. Do I need to say comedian anymore? I think the comedian part is implied in the previous however many episodes. Just pure comedy gold. So you're back and I'm just back from having a dart. And it was good. A dart, by the way, for my many, many international listeners. A dart in Australia is a cigarette. And so when you hear me saying dart, I'm talking about cigarettes. And you will be hearing me say dart a lot because I'm fucking enjoying them. I'm not drinking, but I'm having quite a few fucking darts. They're going down an absolute treat now. I'm not having too many, but I'm having enough. And it's pretty hard to argue, I reckon, that smoking is cool. Cool people do it, and uncool people should do it to become more cool. It's one of the coolest things you can possibly do. It's one of the easiest it's one of the easiest things you can do in life to up your cool level. And there's nothing hotter, there's nothing better than seeing a hot girl smoke. That's the ultimate. You can't smoke forever. That's that's the problem. You can't smoke forever because as good as seeing a hot girl smoke is, it's just as bad seeing a 50-year-old wrinkled up mess chain smoking cigarettes. So you've got a window where you can smoke and it's going to look hot. And for guys, darting's cool your whole life. I'm sorry, but that's just the truth. You can't smoke forever, so you have to be smart with your cigarettes. This is my tip. If you're going to smoke, only smoke when people are watching. Don't just sit around the house and dart by yourself. That's not cool. Sitting around smoking by yourself is not cool. If you're going to smoke, make sure people see you. Make sure you get the street cred for the cancer you're getting. It's a trade-off. Street cred for cancer. They're getting fucking expensive in Australia now. Like, it's it's too much. They go up, I think it's 8% or 10% every year. Right now, a pack of Marlboro Lights are going for about 30 between 30 and 35 dollars Australian, which is fucking expensive. Back in school, the guy who used to buy cigarettes and sell them to us at school, he was selling cigarettes at 50 cents a piece. Right now in this market, if he was doing that, he'd be losing about 10 dollars a pack. So I don't know how much the kids are buying ciggies for now. They must be buying them for two dollars a cigarette now. Because you've got to turn a profit. The kid at school's not just going to bring ciggies and sell them for the good of humanity, is he? No, I don't think so. And is there anything more disgusting than when you're out at a bar and you're having a cigarette and someone comes up to you and offers you a dollar for a cigarette? It's like, get out of my face, you fucking idiot. You can have one. I don't want your dollar. And then they put on a show. They're like, nah, just... I don't want to see him like a scab. And I'm like, well, you coming over here with a dollar makes you look like a fucking scab. Now take this cigarette and I don't want to see your fucking face for the rest of the night. Should cost you more than a dollar to look so cool. You're probably going to get some action off that CD as well. My favorite cigarettes are roll your owns. That was always a good way to meet girls, even if you were by yourself. You would go out into the beer garden or the smokers area. And you would roll your own, which takes about 10, 15 minutes. The whole process, rolling, sitting there, getting the paper out, getting the filter out, roll your own, smoking it. And in that 15 minutes, you're definitely going to get approached by a girl wanting a cigarette. And the good part about that is they can't roll their own cigarettes generally. And if they can, marry the bitch. Marry that cigarette rolling bitch. And then you would get talking, chatting, and then later on in the night you'll want another one, and then you've got another 15 minutes. All you need is half an hour, one-on-one with a girl. And if you can talk all right and you're not a complete fucking idiot, that should be enough to get you laid. Good half an hour. And if she's loose of morals, you probably only need the 10 minutes. So yeah, you can't smoke forever, so if you smoke, make sure people are watching. That's a big tip. And it's also a status symbol now because they're so expensive. It makes you seem like you have money. 
Don't listen to the naysayers. Keep smoking. Just make sure people are watching. That's that's all I got to say. All right, kids. Stay in school and keep smoking. I'm going to investigate how much kids are paying for cigarettes at schools these days. I'm going to have to go undercover. I'm going to have to go in the schools. I'm going to have to I'm going to have to go deep undercover in primary schools, maybe high schools. And when I go undercover, I just I immerse myself. Maybe I'm going to have to get a high school girlfriend. All right, that's enough. That's enough. All right, see you later.